Fishbowl users, today we are going to go over the Forecast plugin. The Forecast plugin uses historical data to forecast future sales, quantities, and costs. Once purchased and installed from the plugin manager, it will be available in the general module group. Within the plugin, the filters pane is where you will set up your forecast. With display data, you can set the forecast to calculate based off of sales, where it will display data based on the price of inventory that has been sold, quantity, where it will display data based on the quantity of inventory that has been sold, scrapped, and consumed on work orders, or by cost, where it will display data based on the cost of inventory that has been sold. The part drop-down allows you to filter the forecast by an individual part. Leaving it blank will include all parts in the forecast. The location group drop-down allows you to filter the forecast by location. You can also select all to include every location group in the forecast. The checkbox to combine location groups will combine the data from each location group into one data set. If this isn't checked, each location group will be a separate data set on the chart. In the formula section, you select the appropriate formula for what you want to forecast. There are several uses for the formulas and each may be used to determine an appropriate forecast based on your data. The constant average formula displays the grand mean of the data and is useful if there isn't a trend in your data or you aren't expecting a trend in your data. Along with the constant average formula, you may specify a growth percentage. Based on your data, the forecast will include this growth percentage to show you what would need to happen to hit the growth percentage. Depending on the display data selected, this may be viewed as an increase in sales of products, which would help marketing plan how to reach those sales, or if viewed by quantity, it would aid in planning the inventory that may be needed to manufacture enough product to reach the growth goal. Or if viewed by cost, your company could see the increase in cost of goods sold that would be a result of reaching the growth goal. The linear regression formula will draw a line through the middle of your data points. This formula is useful in showing you overall trends based on your historical data. It is most useful when future sales are expected to follow a long-term trend. You may also specify a growth percentage with the linear regression formula. The last formula is the exponential moving average. This displays a line that reacts to each data point. This formula is most helpful when future sales are likely to follow the most recent trends. With this formula, you do not specify a growth percentage. In its place, there will be a smoothing factor that can be adjusted. The default value is 2. Essentially, this factor controls how responsive the forecast is to the data. The higher this number, the less variation you will see in the forecast. A low number will be more wavy, and a high number will be less wavy on the graph. After choosing your formula, you must select date ranges, both for your data and the date range you want to forecast. If you want the forecast to include your data, you will want the from dates to match for the reference date and the forecast date. If there is no overlap, the forecast results will not include your data from the reference date range. One thing to note is if you are using the exponential moving average, you cannot specify a forecast date. This formula only allows you to forecast one unit depending on whether you've selected grouping by day, week, month, or year beyond your reference date range. In the final section of the filters pane, you must select the chart type and how you want the data to be grouped. The line graph will show fluctuations in your data by connecting the data points with a line and may be helpful when comparing time intervals such as this month versus last month. The scatter plot does the same data points as the line graph but without the connecting line. The accumulation chart shows the running total or cumulative total by adding each data point to the previous total. This may be helpful when looking at date calculations such as month to date or year to date. The group by filter sets the time interval displayed on the graph. Selecting day will display data points by day and month by month, etc. Be aware that changing the grouping will have a large effect on the forecast since you are changing the data points when you change this. Once you have finished setting up the filters in the filter pane, clicking view will run the forecast. There are also options to save your filter setup so you can load it more quickly in the future. This is done with the save, delete, and browse icons. The chart can be zoomed in and dragged using the mouse and hovering over a data point will display the data for that point. The data tables can be sorted, dragged, and hidden. This will not affect the chart, but the tables will export however you have them altered. You have the option to export the tables as Excel or CSV files. 
For more information on the Forecast plugin, please visit the wiki page or contact your account manager or sales representative. The Forecast plugin is available now through the plugin manager.